Today, we are studying the general properties of resistors. Resistors reduce the flow of current to protect your circuit. Let me show you how they work. I have here a 9 volt battery hooked only to a single light bulb. Oops, I blew out the bulb. But if I had added a 15 ohm resistor, it would have worked just fine. This is the same 15 ohm resistor from the previous experiment. We use the Greek letter omega for ohms because if we actually wrote out the word ohms, it would look confusingly like 150 hmms. The amount of resistance depends on the size and shape of the resistor. Here, a lump of Play-Doh is protecting our light bulb. If I make it skinny and long, the bulb dims. If I re-squeeze it to being fat and wide, the bulb gets very bright. From this experiment, we see that resistance increases with length but decreases with area. A wider resistor has more paths for parallel currents to flow. But a resistance also depends on what the resistor is made of. It's resistivity. We use the Greek letter rho for resistivity. A good conductor would have low resistivity and a poor conductor would have high resistivity. Let's measure the resistivity of Plato. Here's a 2 by 2 by 10 rectangular prism of Plato. Simple experiments reveal that it has about 100 ohms of resistance. From the formula, we have the resistance of 100 ohms equal to the resistivity times the length of 10 centimeters divided by an area of 2 centimeters by 2 centimeters. Solving for resistivity, we get 40 ohm centimeters. I have here a 1 ohm resistor. Now if we were to smash open this 1 ohm resistor and look inside, what would we see? Let's find out. Inside the resistor, you see a long wire all coiled up. It was this long wire that was protecting our light bulb. In fact, the original definition of an ohm was just a thousand feet of copper wire. 